Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True, and welcome back to Stellaris the Impossible Run. Well, last time, I'd say things went pretty bloody well. We went on a stupid, unnecessary military adventure, and it didn't turn into an absolute disaster, where I lost everything. Instead, we managed to get ourselves... Oh, look at the branch officers. Look at these beautiful, beautiful branch officers. They're generating so much flipping money for me, together with unity and research and fleet capacity. It's absolutely marvellous. And we got ourselves a real flipping jewel in the crown, quite literally pristine jewel. We have special dispensation to colonise a holy world given to us by a fallen empire. That's just flipping lovely. So we're going to get on with that. We don't really need it. It's far away. But there is a bit of a strategy here, which is... Uh, it's worth it for me to hedge my bets, because at some point, I'm going to be destroyed. So having a few little outposts just dotted around the galaxy would be a very, very good thing indeed. We got ourselves a new planet, we got ourselves some branch outposts. Our economy in general is looking in good shape. Fleet capacity is going up, fleets are getting stronger. We're in a good place here, we're in a very good place. And our neighbours, yeah, we're getting on pretty well with those guys. The Hulfassans have been very badly battered. The Corinthians are pathetically weak. Most of our other allies are pretty chill with us. In fact, I have noticed one thing as well, which is the Spuxalites, who we have a very hot and cold relationship with, they are up for forming a commercial pact with me right now. So naturally I'll be having that because uh, that's trust, that's energy credits, that's consumer goods, and uh, even better, because these guys are actually xenophobes, I'm gonna work under the assumption, uh, your capital with 92 trade value uh, is completely empty. Oh yeah, oh flipping yes. So if you guys would just like to uh, confirm that you're okay with that, there we go, I think we'll be settling that down because 1,800 is uh, nothing. That is just absolutely flipping nothing. So get that down immediately. 72 population. Wow. Almost at 75 already. That's amazing. Okay, so I paid 1,800 and that's generating 50 a month immediately with no buildings down. So 600 a year. Right, so that's paid for itself inside three years and then we're just into ridiculous profit. Oh, I love branch officers. Now this, this is how you're supposed to play Megacorps, damn it. Now, admittedly, we're a bit low on minerals for whatever reason, but that's fine. Over to the market if you'd be so kind. They're not that expensive, are they? No, we shall simply buy minerals. Marvellous. So, one commercial forum for, yet yeah, 25% increase in branch office value because that's pretty damn big. Then, take the unity. The unity would be absolutely magnificent. Right, and then the game will flag when the next slot opens up, but, oh, this is good. This is really, really damn nice. All of these branch officers. We are the dominant megacorp in the galaxy. We've got these officers everywhere. And by the way, do you have any good secondary planets by any chance? No, that's 20, 15, 20. Not worth the trouble. I'll just take the big ones. Then again, this tiny planet right by my borders is very cheap to actually get down. This is here in Redamon, which is yeah, right on the Spuxilax border. That'll pay for itself in, yeah, that's about 120 a year. If I'm only paying a thousand because it's right next to my borders, uh, that pays for itself in, what, eight or nine years or thereabouts. Tell you what, we may as well get that down as well. Sure, why not? Minerals looking a bit on the low side, by the way. My mining world is, uh, yeah, probably not doing as much mining as it really should do. So maybe get a few more mining jobs in play. And with everybody flipping loving us at the minute, honestly, you guys, just um, return to base and do some upgrades back at Snorf. Because, yeah, our fleets could be a little bit more high-tech than they currently are. We've got ourselves... Oh, we've got so much fleet capacity. And plenty of alloys, but more coming in soon, so that's all absolutely fine. Now, this all sounds great, but there's one small problem, which is uh, my corner of the galaxy going really nicely right now. But, um, there are problems elsewhere. Like, say, yeah... The kill bots that I actually put into the game to make sure there were some kill bots. They're actually doing a, a little bit better than I'd like them to. And sure, there was the heroic reclamation of Vesta, the old Roman homeworld. That was great. Doesn't change the fact that the Zero Index have actually struck so deep into the Federation territory that, yeah, they have a ton of exclave over here in the Sathid Trading Coalition. That's not good. These guys are getting scary. They're at war with, like, just about everyone right now, and they're winning. And what I'm worried about is, if I leave them alone, we might end up in a situation where they take over, like, a full third or half of the galaxy. And if it gets to that stage, 
I won't be able to stop them. They will simply be too powerful to stop because as a reminder, determined exterminators are to my mind by far the most dangerous of the great big we want to kill everyone empires because they're the type that get massive bonuses to their fleet. Devouring swarms, the biological hive mind equivalent, they get massive bonuses to their armies which is nowhere near as tough because if you can just control the skies, the armies don't get a chance to fight but fleets will always get involved in a war. So yeah, the zero index are scary. And we need to get over there, sort that out, take some territory for myself, diddly diddly dee. But in order to make that happen, I need to have a plan. Because if I just go over there and have a great big open border, they'll just take it back, it'll be a nightmare. I need to find a bit of territory I want to take, and I want to hold. Okay, let's map this out here, because I think right now, for the moment at least, the Zero Index have probably reached the southern extreme of what they're going to be able to do. The next continuum is guarding this path. They won't be able to break that. We've got a Fallen Empire right here. They won't be able to break that. The Silicron seem to be doing okay. They're holding these paths, and they're not at war with these guys just yet. So, uh, the Zero Index probably aren't going to be expanding too much far south. Instead, they're just eating the Istran right here. So the Almertas are currently staying out of it because they don't have a border. What I, however, have is, uh, yeah, a link through this wormhole to Almerta space. So if I'm going to attack through the Almerta space, then into the Istran to try and assist them, and then set up a little bit of an exclave of my own down over here, I'm going to need to make sure I can still get home in an emergency. So you guys, uh, yeah... You guys seem to pretty much love me. I see no reason why you guys would ever actually turn out to hate me. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. In which case, if we enter through the wormhole, then OK. Which ways can we go? We can go through you. Are you the mega church, by the way? No, you're the imperialist peacock dicks. But you seem to be OK leaving the border open. But I'm not sure I'd be willing to bank on you leaving that border open. Because you don't really like me that much. So uh, that would be dangerous. That would be very dangerous indeed. I feel like I'd rather strike down south over here, try and assist the Istrans as best I can, because uh, they're in trouble. They're in a huge amount of trouble right now. In fact, what have you guys even got left right now? There's 2,000. Uh, do you have any more? Hang on, use the equivalent fleet strength. No, their fleets are basically gone, aren't they? They've got nothing left. Okay, there's an interesting little area around about here. So looking about this area, yeah, there's a choke point there and a choke point there. Between those two systems, the Zero Index can't actually move uh, any further north or south. They're struggling to hold this territory on this side, meaning uh, this is where we probably want to hit them. There is a choke point along this spine around here. If we were to hold these three systems, uh, then we could start picking off the south nice and easily because uh, the Zero Index, their natural homes over here. So we don't know how many starports they've got or where those starports are exactly, but we do know that they're very likely to be up north. So if we could just, yeah, block them up there, then we could just potentially knock out the south. That could be a nice little area for us. And potentially, yeah, we might want to give some of it back to the Istrans. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is not a terrible neighbourhood uh, to live in. The next continuum is mostly fine. Uh, then we've got ourselves, yeah, you guys are the Xenophile Fallen Empire, so you're fine as neighbours too. A couple of tiny empires down here, nothing to worry about there. The Istrans are friendly. Uh, yeah, this would actually be a perfectly reasonable place for me to actually settle. Assuming it's actually any good. Like, are there any good systems around here? Reasonable if unspectacular. We could figure out what to do with it later. But yeah, that's what we want to do. The thing is... Uh, if we do this, we're going together and we're keeping our fleets together. We do not separate out because the Zero Index are stronger than we are. They've got all sorts of bonuses. We don't. Their technology is overwhelming. Their economic power is overwhelming. Their fleet is superior to ours. And that's only a few years after three different foreign empires came and gave them a beating just to teach them a lesson. They barely seem to flipping care. In fact, do we actually have proper eyes on their fleets right now? Yes, yes we do. So we're looking at... Ooh, blimey. Right, level 4 shields, level 3 armor, level 5 projectile weapons, and level 3 plasma. Yeah, that's really nasty. We're still on level 1 plasma. But, on the other hand, if we actually just smash some of these ships, that's some... Ooh. Now, that's interesting. If we could just scan some wreckage, we could catch up in a hurry. Okay, we're doing it. One, because it's the right thing to do. Two, because they're going to kill me if I don't. And three, because I want to scan some wreckage. Right, we just need to upgrade all these fleets, produce some more ships. We'll be absolutely a-okay. So, uh, the countdown to that war has begun.
Ooh, here's a difficult one though. We've got ourselves a tradition and that's a new tree that needs to be opened. Now, it feels odd I haven't done prosperity yet as a megacorp, but supremacy is nice too. Uh, harmony would not be the worst thing in the world. Domination will be last because I think domination just isn't as good as some of the others. Right, remind me of the opening effect here. So, uh, mining station output up. That wouldn't be terrible. Minerals is running a bit on the low side and my population is nice and high, so... Uh, a few merchant jobs, uh, that would not hurt either. But yeah, this is obviously mainly about making more money or spending less of it. So, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but supremacy feels like the right thing to do. Uh, two more star bases. Though, admittedly, I've got four I'm not doing anything with right now, so that's not too bad at all. But yeah, overwhelming force. That's nice. You know what? Supremacy. We don't need prosperity right now because we've got so much money we don't actually need prosperity. That seems like an odd thing to say, but that's what I'm thinking. Ah, yes, and Shard. We should have to think about Shard because a second Relic World would be really nice. Now, as I understand it, Shard is uh, precisely as strong as the Ether Drake. So if I actually just speak to uh, my friends uh, over in the Curator Enclave, uh, yeah, let's ask them how I do against the Ether Drake if you're willing to actually tell us about that. Yours is a mighty fleet comparable to some of the greatest armadas recorded in the annals of the Curator Order. Victory is certainly within your reach. The question is, do I want to do that now? No, I've got enough worlds down for the time being. I'd rather not lose a giant pile of ships just before I'm about to go to a war. I'd rather go and, yeah, make sure the Zero Index situation doesn't get any more out of control because uh, it's not looking great, all things considered. There's been a bit of a strike back over here, so I think this is actually a good time to go because right now, yeah, they're tied up in a fairly large number of wars. I mean, they won't be able to throw everything they've got at me this is the right time to do it. And we've got ourselves a lovely invitation to a federation, which is... Uh, that's a good sign. That means those guys like me, but no. Not you guys. If I'm joining any federation, I'm joining my old friends over here. Because I'm about to go and try and rescue them if I can anyway. But uh, thank you for inviting me. That's a very positive sign indeed. Oh, Flip, this is interesting. The Corinthians have opened the borders. Right, that's the first time that's happened in... Uh, I don't know, a very long time. Mm -hmm. Corinth, 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 Corinth. Right. Receptive. And uh, would you be interested in a commercial pact or something? What can I get with you? Yeah, I'd like to potentially de-escalate this long-running, completely pointless conflict if I could, but they won't actually, yeah, they won't actually take anything. Okay. If I could get them up by plus 31, I could get them into a commercial pact, but ah, hang on. They're at war with the Zero Index. Right, when my war with the Zero Index begins, we'll have a common enemy. So as it turns out, a giant swarm of killbots that everyone agrees are dicks, that's going to be how the galaxy makes friends, because we've got a common enemy. Oh, that's brilliant. The Zero Index have accidentally saved me. Also, I hadn't realised this before now, but yeah, we used to be horrific rat anteater creatures. Then we figured out, hey, we used to look like donkeys. Let's turn ourselves into donkeys. I think we've accidentally turned ourselves into the materialist fallen empire, so... Uh, I guess they were the people that came and, like, created our species or something, something, something. Who bloody knows? And they also want a scientist. Right, who's Sir Benjamin Ingram and am I willing to give him up? Right, level 5 and a decent perk, but he's 101, so he would die very soon anyway. So, uh, yes, that's a good trade. Oh, that's a really big, important building too. Food processing facilities. Uh, so yeah, big increase in the amount of food a territory can produce. We definitely flipping need that, yes. And we should really spend a bit of time just, yeah, getting the tile blockers sorted out because uh, they're fast to do and we do have a fair few blocked tiles on our planets right now. Right, who needs that new food thingy production facility? Because I'm guessing a few places do. Ah, yes, Forlorn Hope. That produces a lot of flipping food. So, uh, what we should do is uh, get rid of the Alloy Mega Forges uh, and instead uh, replace that with, yeah, food production because uh, we are just, yeah, months away from the first foundry facility uh, coming online over on Fen Habanis. So, uh, that means, yeah, we're going to be really, really lacking in volatile moats but swimming in alloys. So, uh, yeah, replace that with uh, the brand new plus 15% food building. Lovely. That will create a bit of unemployment, admittedly, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In fact, you know what? Not a problem, because in a single pop's time, we'll have a new slot available, so it'll be fine. Oh, and speak of the devil, we've actually got a free slot right here, right now. So yeah, you guys can have that too, or at least you would be able to if I had any money. 
yeah, we're really lacking in minerals right now, which is fine. We can just keep buying minerals because minerals are so flipping cheap, no problem whatsoever. But that feels like not a permanent solution, to be honest. Also, right now I've only got the tank to actually, yeah, produce exotic gas from minerals. I need volatile moat technology. Next time that shows up, I really, really need to take that as a matter of priority because... Uh, in order to keep Fenhabarnis running, I'm going to be needing a lot of flipping moats. In fact, you know what we should do? Over on Forlorn Hope, it's time to shut down the technician jobs. No technician jobs, please. Uh, everybody move over to... Uh, yes, Crystal Miner. That's a good thing right flipping there. And I wouldn't mind actually having uh, a handful of extra miners too, uh, if the option were available. So yeah, let's get some more miners going on. Yeah, this was originally set up as a generator world, but that was a bit of a stupid thing. Because, yeah, you don't really need generator worlds uh, when you're a megacorp. Money comes in plenty enough through uh, trade and use of the market. So I should probably, uh, yeah, replace some of these uh, with more farms. Just have this place basically feed the empire. Oh, and perfect timing, my sort of vassals, the spiritualist Ford Empire, have decided to go to war against the Zero Index. So uh, that's going to be another bit of a spanking, uh, hands out right there in bloody hell. I need to hurry up or the flipping Istrans aren't going to exist anymore. Right, the new force Pegasus, just a handful of cruisers. Uh, you guys stay here. Zarklan second. Uh, you guys stay up north, though, admittedly, uh, kind of isolating out of the way. But we need to leave something up there just in case. Because I imagine these guys, uh, they probably don't like us very much. Oh, they, they actually do. I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised. You know, the weird thing is, they might actually just be willing to become a subsidiary of ours if we just actually catch them at peace. Yeah, keep an eye out for peace, actually. Maybe. In fact, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The Inari. You guys are pathetically weak right now. Sadly, you're at war too. Right. The next time you guys aren't at war, it's possible... Hang on, you're equivalent. You need to be weaker than me. Okay, if I just keep spamming ships... We might actually be able to subjugate these guys and these guys, which would be very, very fun indeed. Right, all troops, begin moving towards the wormhole, please. Hang on, this is the right wormhole, isn't it? Yes, that's the right wormhole. All forces, uh, head towards the right wormhole. Now, this is going to leave my empire more than a little bit exposed, uh, to be honest. But, I think we're okay. The only people who seem like they've got any interest in maybe attacking us is the whole Fassens, And, uh, for the time being... Uh, their fleet is pathetic. They will be able to rebuild it, but hopefully we'll be okay. We've got Decida right there, which I'm upgrading just on the off chance there's any problems there. But we shouldn't really need that, to be honest. But it's about to be a Star Fortress anyway. These places are moderately but not spectacularly well guarded. I've upgraded them a little bit. And, uh, oh, that's going to be such a beautiful ring world. I'm totally setting up that ring world when I can. Oh, this is an active hot war, by the way. We have got ourselves, yep, fleets of the Zero Index moving in and out right now. Uh, fleets of the Infinite Pond desperately trying to hold on, but they are being uh, squeezed out. This is getting scary. This is getting really scary. We need to get in there and just try and slow them down a bit because I'm guessing that's, yep, that's more fleets coming in. Uh, that's more too. Uh, right, so the Zero Index is just eating this territory right now. There's nothing we can really do about it. These guys are very, very strong indeed. Look at that. Plasma 3. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Right, you know what? Prepare a science vessel, all right? Bring one of the science vessels down over here, ready to make the jump over to. The moment we can start scanning debris, we need to flipping do it. Okay, the Istrans have now lost everything aside from this territory over here. And the Zero Index are right there. And in fact, potentially the Spuck Shellax might be planning to take some of that back, actually. So, uh, yeah, they're going to lose all of this. This down over here is just being eaten, as far as I can tell. So they've got nothing left but this up here. These guys are completely screwed. Then again, I can't help but notice... Ooh, there's a mega structure right there. Hang on, which mega structure was that? Is that a good mega structure? That's a Science Nexus. I wouldn't mind having that, you know. Oh, a non-aggression with Almeta. Yeah, every time I need to keep that border open. So 100% I'm glad to do that. That'll be marvellous for building up some trust. And I believe, uh, yeah, the first foundry is down. Straight away we have got ourselves, wow, 14 metal workers on this planet. That is, uh, that's pretty damn huge. 
Oh, there's some back and forth going on here with the Infinite Pawn, but for the time being, they're putting up a good fight, alright? They're not losing every engagement. They are managing to take out some of the smaller fleets. This is working out for them just how my force is doing, by the way. Right, my normal forces are lagging behind, but this force is ready to go. You know what? Screw it. It's time to make the declaration. It doesn't make any difference. So then again, would I rather wait until I was a bit closer, potentially? Yeah, probably should, just in terms of war exhaustion. But let's send the main fleet ahead here. Let's send all the forces ahead. So, uh, you guys, uh, Zarklan's first pilgrims, all glory to Zarklan. Uh, head down over here. Do what you can, right on the edge of Almer to space. Ah, bit of a shame, though. We literally just got the zero-point reactor coming in right now. So that is a shame. Right, what can we actually uh, get here? Ooh, research alternatives. That's never a bad thing. Let's get advanced shields down. That's already half done because we've scanned a whole bunch of them. That's lovely. Who's that making peace, by the way? Zero index and... Ooh, the Istrans. Okay. They actually decided they couldn't push that any further. That's not good, actually. Kind of wanted them to have... Did you get... No, they didn't get the flipping mega structure. Because then I could have taken it off them. Boo. Boo, I say. Right, okay. The plan doesn't change, it's just a bit unfortunate that we won't be getting any help from the Istrans. Not that they would have actually really been able to offer much in the way of help, but screw it. Oh, they even had a bloody fleet in the system! Why didn't you take it, you stupid bastards? Boo! Oh, speaking of which, the Zero Index think we're particularly worthy of extermination. We'll see how that goes for you, you stupid bastards. The Spuxulax are desperately trying to hold on to their colonies right now. Don't think that's going to necessarily go that well for them. But you know what? They're trying. Well done. Ah, here's fun. So, Quaptilium Primum, those guys started to actually join, yeah, this federation up north, which they actually offered me membership of. So, uh, you guys are okay. Quaptilium Primum we've been at war with before. But I think actually these days, uh, yeah, we get on with each other just fine, actually. Marvellous. Oh, and this is sexy as anything. Pristine jewel, a holy Gaia world... We've got it settled absolutely beautiful. Sadly, no special rare planetary features, so uh, I guess we just treat this place as a bit of a breadbasket because uh, we do just need more and more food as time goes by, but we do also need minerals. But it feels kind of weird to, yeah, convert Pristine Jewel into a mining colony. I feel like it should be like, you know, a perfect idyllic agricultural countryside world. That definitely feels better to me. Let's just get some food down for the time being. Also, apparently we've got eyes on a leviathan. Is that by any chance in... Aha! We've got ourselves a leviathan over there, which is awe-inspiring. That's one of the new ones, uh, the scavenger bots. So yeah, this thing's cool. It just likes basically trashing stuff. Never killed one of these. Not sure what the actual... Lost sight of it there for a second. Oh, it's moving. Hello over there. What are you eating now? Is it the sun? Yes, he's decided to just go and have a swim in the sun. He can do that because he's that damn badass. Oh, the Infinite Pond wants me in the Federation too. Uh, not just yet, maybe later. And that was, there we go. That's a tile block we needed to take care of. Absolutely lovely. Uh, ooh, Executive Retreats. Yeah, this one's interesting. So I can build this in my branch officers. Uh, so Corporate Empire Modifier, Amenities plus 10%. Planet Modifier, Trade Value plus 5%. That's actually really good, but the upkeep's a bit on the high side. Uh, Leave it for the time being, because, uh, yeah, I've got a fair few planets with jungles on them right now, so prioritise that for the minute. Okay, the fleets are moving into their final attack position now, and uh, things are not looking good. Zero Index has decided it can't be bothered with the Istrans right now, but it's heading further south, and is now eating these guys. Which is fine, I don't really care about these guys, but these guys have expanded too much. This is getting scary. I need to cut them in half right now. Guys, me and you get on. Any chance you'd be willing to do, yeah, a bit of a deal for Active Sensor Link for Active Sensor Link? I'm very willing to do that, alright? Because I need to see what I'm up against. Right, they say yes to that. The Silicrons can be bought very easily just the same. So, okay. That should give me much better visibility of the surrounding area as we go into this war. So I can see, there we go... Now I can see nice and easy what's going on. Between the various fleets, listening outposts, all the rest of it, I should be able to see pretty much every force of the Zero Index. Alright guys, uh, I'd say it's time. We are going to declare a war, and naturally uh, this is containment. Anyone else want in? The Bavia do want in. Not sure whether they'll actually bother showing up, but 
If they feel like it, why the flip not, eh? Just make sure the Bavia actually... Yep, the Bavia have indeed decided to vote yes. So, let's get in there. Start murdering some folks, please. Because, yes, my primary fleet is 24,000 strong. If I can just keep my fleets together, we should be able to handle this. Because these guys are doing so well because they're spread out so thin. They just keep knocking over systems that aren't defended. But that means their fleets have all been divided. If I can cut their empire in half, they won't be able to reunify them. And yes, game, I'm aware of the ruined science nexus, which I'm not allowed to have. You don't need to rub it in. There she goes, by the way, this rather weird fleet that's now a mix of, yeah, old and new ships. They can just, yeah, tear these guys apart. Actually, it doesn't have any point defense. That's interesting, actually. It doesn't have any... Yes, it does have six destroyers. And they just tear that apart. So, that is space that immediately belongs to us. So, let's just start, yeah, knocking all of this over as best we can. And we'll just be able to go uh, system to system. Do you have any planets around here? There is actually a planet around over here, too. Okay, how well guarded is it? Reasonably, but not spectacular. How good are my armies right now? Okay, good enough. Start bringing up the armies. Really should have done that earlier, actually. But uh, no matter, we'll just have to make do. Yeah, summon up the armies. Uh, we are engaged, but that is just against a basic station. Uh, yeah, we've got enough point defense. We can take these guys out, no problem whatsoever. So we're just going to start knocking some of this over. Keep an eye out, though. They're going to be, you know, responding sooner or later. We just don't know how effective they're going to be at pulling it all together. So, actually, you know what? Go over here first. Let's actually cut them in half immediately. And you guys, uh, until we start seeing any form of organized response, feel free to separate yourselves out. You've got point defense. You should be fine. And I think just a couple of really, really tiny empires are actually just joining that federation. Very, very good indeed. Okay, good starting point. The question is, uh, how and when are they going to be responding? Ah, yes, and don't forget, pull in the science vessel as fast as you can, please. Make sure that's ready to start scanning as soon as we catch basically anything whatsoever. Also, uh, what are we running out of? Oh, we're running out of exotic things. Right, moats and gases. That's fine. We have money. We will simply buy more. Oh, we've got aggressors moving in, but it's small stuff, so not a big thing over there. Fine, we've got good eyes on over here because, yeah, between all the different little sensor links I've traded, uh, we should have better information than they have. And also, does this planet by any chance have... Uh, there's a planet here. Doesn't seem to be guarded, but unfortunately, I've got no armies to occupy the damn thing. Okay, can I move over here? Yes, I am allowed to move over here. Let's just start looping around here. These little fleets that we could actually pick off one by one, that'd be a really, really damn good source of research right there. Ooh, I probably shouldn't be sending the weakest of my fleets out to go and actually take on these stations, though. They're going to take a little bit of damage trying to do this, but you guys have got yourselves... Uh, yeah, you've got yourself some point defense. You should be fine, because the most dangerous thing on these platforms is... Uh, Pretty much always the missile. So if you've got some point defense, you really shouldn't be taking much in the way of damage there. We've also got ourselves... Uh-oh. What's wrong with pristine jewel? Because I thought it was supposed to be, you know, pristine. There's an alien battle cruiser at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. I see no reason why we wouldn't try and pull that out. Get our flipping engineers on us. I'm not sure what it is, but if it's, say, a Titan or a battle cruiser, that'd actually be worth it. I'm just not sure yet. Yeah, when it says cruiser... It presumably does mean cruiser. So, uh, honestly, a cruiser's nothing to sniff at. That's nothing bad at all. So that's going down. Yeah, now we're through the shields. The plasma will make short work of that. Secondary fleet moving over here. There is a force over there moving to... Uh, moving to Dimius. Aha! They're trying to intercept us. Good. That means we can knock those guys out. No problem whatsoever. Over here, meanwhile, there should be... Aha! There's a small army force right there. Just basically, yeah, have this swing up over here... And then swing back round over here to Nupra. And that will do very, very nicely indeed. We've got ourselves a battle over here. And that is... Nope, that's just taking out the actual platform. But are they sending in reinforcements over there? Hang on, where are we right now? Where was the battle? Oh, sorry, we missed the battle. It was up here because we won it too easily. But that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. No problem whatsoever. Is there any debris? There doesn't seem to be debris. But that was definitely where you guys were. But... Alright, keep knocking them down. Sooner or later we'll find something. Uh, 
problem is, yeah, there's a giant pile of planets around here, which is a bit of a problem. But on the plus side, if we could take those planets for ourselves, uh, yeah, then the Zero Index needs to retake those planets to take this all back. So that's good. That's good at the bare minimum. All right, research complete for the tile blockers. That's flipping nice. What do we need? Ooh, corporate megaplexers. Those do cost rare crystals, though, so I probably wouldn't be trying to build those too fast, but wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Yeah, get it done. We are a trade empire, so sooner or later we will be wanting those, yes. Anyway, we're starting to actually make a bit of an impact here, which is lovely, and the transport fleet is uh, still a long flipping way off, fine, whatever. Right, bring the pilgrims uh, round over here, because there's a couple of fleets starting to actually build up in this part of the world. I'd like them destroyed before they start causing a problem for me. And by the way, uh, what debris is that? That is, uh, okay, nothing great, but I wouldn't mind having it. Cerberus and Kraken, you guys start heading north. By the way, what's that up there? That's nothing yet, just keep an eye out. When the counterattack does come, we need to be ready for it because we haven't seen much yet, but we know these guys have more fleet power than us. We just don't know precisely where it is. Right, deploy the pilgrims uh, down over here. There is, yeah, they're starting to build up a force actually, quite a significant force. We've got hostile fleets present over there. That is uh, nothing to be worried about. It's just a very small force indeed. Uh, you guys, actually, get over here. Hit these guys if you can. If you can take them out and get ourselves some debris, I would love to know. Nope, they managed to escape. Cheeky bastards. Right, we need to figure out how to actually, you know, get some debris here. And when I say how to get some debris here, I feel like we're about to get ourselves some debris, actually. Yeah, these guys are building up fast and they've got cruisers. But I have got the firepower. We're going to take some losses here. Unquestionably, that's going to happen, but it'll do, all right? We're going to take some of them out because we're going to be bypassing all of their shields uh, with all of that good stuff. That actual station is in a bit of trouble. Their fleets are... Ouch, that fleet is going to start hurting me. Also, we've got ourselves... Okay, hang on. What have we just run into? We've run into something. Okay, those are just things. We don't care about that. That's absolutely fine. Go back to the battle, please. That's the important bit. Yeah. We just took... Do we take a bit of a knock there? How are we doing, guys? Actually, for the most part, just damaged. But uh, reinforced. I think we actually lost a cruiser there. What are we up to, by the way? Ooh, influence full. Well, that's fine. Let's start spending some of that on some lovely, lovely edicts. Never flipping hurt to have more energy and more food. Oh, this is what we wanted to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yes. Oh, flipping yes. Look at all of that. Oh, that's... That's the stuff right there. Right, bring in the science vessels. That is, uh, that's huge. That pickoff is flipping huge. And better and better, this station, I assume, does actually have, uh, it's got the capacity to repair these guys for whatever reason. They are currently being prepared, uh, which is absolutely marvellous news. Now, there's another force of 1,300 over here. I don't see anything else over in the south. So, uh, at this point, if we could just actually, yeah, hold this territory around here, we could potentially be onto a very good thing indeed, because, hang on, check up north here. The Zero Index has definitely made some progress right into the heart of the Federation, but, ah, okay, I see the problem. They're actually throwing everything they've got right now at the Infinite Pond, but I suspect these large fleets are probably going to start trying to head down south, right? Where are you bastards going? To Ejok. Where's Ejok? Hang on. Game. Where's Ejok? Oh, good. It's one of the territories I own. So, okay. Confirmed. They've started to panic and now they're sending their biggest fleets in my direction. But if they actually arrive in little bits and pieces... Oh, bloody hell, they're all over the place. There's some right there. There's some over here. Right. This is... This is interesting. But hang on. Where are you guys going? Osmandin. I'm guessing that's where I flip it am too. Okay, so the Zero Index is starting to panic and respond. And, uh, okay, what are we going to do about this, by the way? What are we actually going to, you know, do about this? Because uh, right now, there isn't a good system for me to try and hold on in. Just because, yeah, there's no system with uh, lots of reinforcements. And while you're occupying something, actually, I am allowed to occupy it. Because, yes, obviously, I'm not occupying this. I own it. Okay. So, if they want to actually come from the north to the south, sooner or later, to hit me, they have no choice 
but to pass through these three systems right here. This is the choke. They can't avoid that because, uh, yeah, this system brings them through Fallen Empire. They haven't actually made that much progress in this system yet. These guys are not strong enough to punch through. Yeah, they pretty much have to come through that area. Right, Nuprin is about to become a very, very important place for us. And we are going to upgrade it accordingly. So the secondary fleets are now going to hold at Nuprin. Alright, meanwhile, Zarklan's first pilgrims, all glory to Zarklan, those guys are just going to swing around and basically uh, help themselves to a giant pile of territory. Then again, is there any point actually having all these forces here? You know what? Let's actually just have uh, the weakest force stay here. You guys, uh, come over here, help yourself to all of this, because... Uh, None of this is guarded. They just knocked this over because it was basically totally unguarded and you can do precisely the same. And yeah, Science Vessel, get over here, research that project because bloody hell that's gonna be nice. Oh, and guess what day it is? Happy Zar Clan Day, everybody! Hooray! Right, deploy the pilgrims via the wormhole to Nuprin as fast as possible, please. They should actually arrive... Uh, yeah, in about two years, which for the far side of the galaxy is not so bad. Now, Zero Index Legion 2 is heading in this direction right now. They are, yeah, healing up very, very fast indeed at one of their stations. So, uh, honestly, not too worried about that. I think we've basically achieved our primary objective here, which is uh, they have not Space been able to bring all their forces uh, together. Their forces are just basically... Uh, everywhere because they've been fighting wars literally everywhere and because i've now cut their empire in half they're really going to struggle to actually bring them together in fact actually not just in half in three there's no link between this bit and this bit over here marvelous though there will be momentarily they are about to just take this platform back they're going to lose a little bit of armor to do it but screw it in fact maybe i should have actually tried to fortify this area might have been a bit optimistic to be honest also uh, how much do you guys have right now? Probably not enough. Uh, okay, just to help actually speed this up here. Let's actually just get ourselves... Yeah, one defense platform down, please. Let's get ourselves a defense platform down just for safety. Because uh, they're about to start knocking over all of this. That's 2,200. Okay, they're taking the territory back right now. That's fine. In fact, you know what? Um, okay, Cerberus... I've changed my mind. You guys head back to Nuprin, actually. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. We should have ourselves... Yep, we got ourselves a big-ass fight right here. Yep, Zarklan's first pilgrims. All glory to Zarklan. Has successfully knocked over another fleet. And uh, there we go. That's another ridiculous, ridiculous pile of research right there. Oh, that's... That's amazing. That's flipping amazing. Right, we've knocked over that. Get over here. Knock over these guys. And then if we're lucky... They might not have another starport to actually respawn troops at this side of their empire. In which case, yeah, we'll have pretty much done our jobs. Flipping love it. By the way, hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you scanning that research? Because that's supposed to be my research. Screw you. Oh, a whole bunch of empires just closed the borders to me, actually. Are they getting worried because I'm getting stronger? They might be getting worried because I'm getting stronger. Yeah, the Corinthians just closed the border again. I'm surprised. We do have mutual threats. We're at war with the same person. I would have thought you guys would like me more for that, but whatever. Okay, the main force moves in. Knocks over this little platform. We know there's a starport here, I believe. That's going to go down. No trouble whatsoever. Do you guys need reinforcements, by the way? You might need reinforcements at some point soonish. You guys are holding right here. Are you guys invading right now? No, they're backing off for the time being. Okay. How much is actually starting to gather up north, by the way? Because uh, they're starting to get organised. There's a thousand. That's five thousand. Uh, Three thousand. Uh, another two thousand. Okay. We might want to start bringing them together, guys. I'm a little bit worried about this situation, actually. Yes. Is Nuprin actually done, by the way? I think Nuprin's done. Yes, Nuprin's done. Let's actually get some guns on Nuprin. Because, uh, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a front. For quite some time, so let's get her set up properly, please. Oh, they're pulling it together. They're pulling all of them together, but they are actually pulling back as well. If they don't want to engage, kind of works for me as far as I'm concerned. By the way, you guys, start moving in. There's an actual tradition. Those are definitely coming in faster because of all the new PR stations. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, ship fire rate 10%. That's the one right there. 
Now, Zarklan can just very quickly claim all of this. And then, uh, we probably want to get him moving north. I'm a bit worried about this gathering strength up here. These guys are just, yeah, coming together for the time being. That's intercept force. Not moving south yet, though. I think they're just pulling it all together for the time being. We've got about, yeah, 11, 12,000 strength right there. Together with, ah, hang on. We've also got ourselves a, a brand new force, of course. Hang on, where's the new force? Here we go. Those guys are now on the way. So get those guys over to Nupra and they're already coming. So that's a decent force. That's another 6,000 uh, right there. Also, why are you guys just sitting there doing nothing? I don't know why you guys are all just sitting there doing nothing. Right, all of you guys, together if you be so kind, you're supposed to be part of the same bloody fleet. Why are you just standing next to each other? Oh, look at that salvage. Oh, that's amazing. That's just beautiful. By the way, who's engaging who right now? That's just... Nope, that's just Zarklan doing the mopping up. Very, very fast indeed. Uh, we've knocked over all of this. That's only 2,500. Uh, not a problem there. Where are the armies, by the way? So we've got ourselves... Yeah, decent strength force right there. Can we knock over these planets nice and easy? 231. Probably, but they'll likely be... Yeah, problems. We'll take some knocks there. Kill bots are not the easiest things in the world to knock over. Still, we've got to try. Ooh, this is nice. So that cruiser we were trying to dig out, we couldn't actually get the cruiser. It was completely destroyed. But we do get streamlining algorithms together with 500 minerals. I won't say no to that. Streamlining algorithms. What's that one again? Evasion plus 10% permanent modifier. Wow, that's actually bloody incredible. All right, little science ship. Head on your way, keep on researching, because I think at this point, the Zero Index has basically lost the entire South of the Empire, just because, uh, for the moment at least, till they pull all their forces together, they can't crack Nupron, and I flippin' love it. That's giving me enough time to get Nupron set up to actually provide a real bit of assistance. Oh, this is... This is working. This is actually working better than I was expecting. I thought the Zero Index was going to be, uh, yeah, way more fast to respond. But luckily they've been distracted by all these bloody wars. Oh bloody hell, we've got a bit of a problem here. There's a tiny annoying pirate fleet, which is actually right along the reinforcement route right now. So, uh, okay, that's actually, hang on, are we actually... Uh, I think we're just actually sneaking straight past it. Yeah, there's some bloody pirates, but momentarily they're about to take this system. Right along the route my reinforcements come along. So, uh, yeah, Almeters, if you'd like to go and take care of that, that'd be bloody magnificent. Okay, 6,700 strength is now gathering right here, and I think they're moving in, actually. Right, they're ready to actually make this happen. And when I say they're ready to make this happen, I don't think they're ready to make this happen at all. Because uh, we've got 13,000 strength right here. Together with this station, which has got itself, yeah, 1,000 is a starting point. We've also got, okay, this is not the time for an election, but whatever. So, who's actually ruling right now? Right, you're ruling right now. Honestly, you're fine. Actually, no, you were always terrible. Right, let's get someone better. Ah, this'll do. Fleet expansion. We actually need to do some fleet expansion. And you like getting minerals in, which is actually not as much of a problem as I thought it was. But screw it, I like you anyway. Though don't forget, this is the person actually commanding Foundling right now. So replace that individual immediately because, uh, yeah, we do actually need you to be getting on with doing all of this lovely scanning. Okay, are they actually going to try and make this happen? Because I'm surprised they didn't wait for the, uh, yeah, the 8,000. With the 8,000, they might have stood a chance. But as it is, uh, even though this is not our primary fleet, I think, yeah, wait for them to actually take care of that. Okay, now move in. And, oh, I might have... I might have been a bit slow there, actually. Uh, let's see if we can just keep that station alive. And, yep, the station is going to survive, meaning now it's going to provide a whole bunch of firepower and support. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you just got absolutely flipping destroyed. What else have they got nearby? Right, that's 11,000. That's more concerning, but no admiral, no orders. Keep an eye on those guys. Uh, because, yeah, these guys get big, big bonuses. Oh, they're waiting for reinforcements. That's... Uh-oh. Okay, now now 18,000 is showing up. Okay, um... No, guys. I need you to report to Nupron immediately. All right? I need the first guys to report to Nupron. Where are the actual reinforcements, by the way? There's the new pilgrims. Good, good, good. That's nice. And actually, yeah, you guys... 
Um, start invading that planet, if you'd be so kind. You should be able to defeat the kill bots, probably. Oh, 12,000, 5,000, 1,000, and they are healing up right now. Very, very fast indeed. Planetary invasion has begun. Kill bots are... Going down nice and fast, actually. These are not bad warriors, and I've got a decent general as well. My forces are trying to disengage, but as long as we don't actually lose anyone, I think we just lost someone. But that's fine. We should hopefully be okay here. Yeah, this planet's going to fall, and we're going to take a little bit of time to just heal up the guys, but for the most part, we'll be ready to move straight on to the next, which is good news. Oh, even more debris. I think that's even better than the first one right there. That's lovely. Disrupt has been... Disrupt has just been completed. Not because we were working on it, just because we've scanned enough Disruptor stuff. By the way, ooh. Sadly, we can't skip straight up to Plasma 3. But we can immediately get Plasma 2 sorted out. So, yeah, actually, get working on that, please. And that planet is going down. Yep, yeah, okay, so we're going to lock down that planet. No problem there whatsoever. Still no movement here. Debris there is apparently not actually worth anything for whatever reason, but that's all A-OK. -okay. We're doing, yep, even more scanning over here. Oh, I love this. I flippin' love this. Also, hang on, where are you guys going? Heading to... Where's that? Who are you guys attacking right now? Someone's apparently just attacking the Istrans. Honestly, guys, I think they've suffered enough. Just leave them alone, the poor lambs. Okay, all my fleets have now managed to make it to the Nuprin system, which is great. And speaking of uh, the Nuprin system itself, hang on, do you guys need uh, more in the way of upgrades at this point? Yeah, definitely upgrade you to a star hold immediately. Let's just have more and more guns on you because uh, these guys don't just have lots of strength. They can also rebuild fast. That's now up to 22,000. Uh, there's another 6,000 right there. There's another 8,000 right there. Okay, hang on, hang on. We need to do the math, sis. That's like 32,000 with the 8,000 tossed in. So that's like 36,000 right there. We do have over 36,000, but I'd rather not engage all of that directly one-on-one. -on -one. Not until I've had time to actually, you know, set up some proper defences and whatnot. We are trying to set those up right now. Okay, how are you guys feeling about making... Oh, you guys are miles away from settling the status quo. Okay, um, this could be a bit of an interesting one. One of the small forces, uh, like the weakest one we've got. There we go, Kraken. You guys get over here, start just like mopping up all of this. You should be able to handle that, no problem whatsoever. Okay, now there's plenty more planets we do actually need to uh, invade officially. How tough are any of them? Just so we know, okay, no armies there whatsoever. That's a nice easy one, so you can handle that. This planet over here has got no armies on it whatsoever. Good. That's a straight, nice, easy drop down instant victory. And barely any armies here. Okay. So those are, those are actually the easy ones. Actually, it turns out the first place we visited was the most difficult. Right, you guys, uh, get over here. Immediately go and just occupy that planet, please. Uh, then we can start basically mopping up all of this. And then uh, this can follow soon afterwards. In fact, this is all looking good stuff. There's another thousand odd. Right, they're about to knock out that territory from the Spokshalax. So the Spokshalax have... Uh, actually, hang on, is that... Oh, that's the last bit of Spokshalax territory! The Spokshalax expansion has, in fact, unfortunately, completely flipping failed. They're about to lose their last little foothold over here, which is a bit of a shame. How are we doing up here, by the way? Okay, they seem to be backing off for now. They're moving to Dredim. Okay, Tell me where Dredim is, please. I need to know where that is. Uh, Dredim is... Ah, right there. Okay, so they're staying in the local area. Gotcha. By the way, that salvage is uh, not as good. Not the best one we've seen, but still pretty damn nice. There we go. The Spuxlax colonies on this side of the galaxy completely wiped out. How's this going, by the way? Vesta is still held, but... Ah, the Vryn Guardians have just been basically taken over all of this. They don't want to occupy it or take it or anything. They're just basically holding it so... Ah, hang on. The war's not moving this side because the Zero Index can't get up there. But the Vryn aren't going to come down here. And the Vryn aren't actually going to take the territory. But while the Vryn have it occupied, the Romans can't. Okay, I see what's going on. Yes. Mining station output goes up, which is not the worst thing in the world. Advanced afterburners would be nice. Habitats is nice, but we don't need them right now, to be honest. I'd rather have... Uh, hang on. 
advanced afterburners or impulse thrusters. Hang on, that is... That's just more speed versus uh, sublight speed and evasion. I think it's better to have impulse thrusters in general, especially as, yeah, it's already actually mostly done, which is kind of beautiful. Okay, we've taken one of the planets back, but the Prakiki T have ceased to exist. Hang on, who actually killed them? Was it the... Uh, ah, it was the Silicrons. Uh, right, those robots are actually doing... Uh, they're doing well, actually. They're doing really, really well, and I think these days... Uh, we get on fine. Yeah, we used to hate each other. We've been at war in the past, but these days, uh, we seem to be getting on just flipping fine. Oh, and this is very frustrating. So, the Inari are now officially inferior to us. Their fleet has fallen so far behind us, they are now inferior overall. Meaning, uh, they might well be willing to accept subsidiary status, except, yeah, I can't ask because I'm at war. And the same is true with the Tajel as well. Right, the bare minimum, I can form a non-aggression pact with them just to get trust moving in the right direction. Just to make it more likely, they'll actually accept that when the time does come. Oh, and I missed this, by the way. The Spirons actually joined the same federation as, yeah, the Kalix and the Birds up north. So, uh, those guys have got a fair few members right now. It's just, yeah, they're a bit scattered all over the place. There's actually, yeah, quite a few federations dotted about these days. Okay, so my small breakaway fleet is now just knocking over a whole bunch of platforms. Uh, that should be no problem whatsoever. So yeah, all this territory up here is going to fall into our hands. No problem at all. Now, we have unfortunately yet eaten a couple of systems we don't really need for anything for the time being. And by the way, is that the... Oh, flip, that's the Spuxilax. They're back. They've actually managed to take some of that territory back. Well done, you magnificent bastards. They're not ready to give up on that just yet. This is an insane level of land grab, by the way. This is basically, yeah, the same number of colonies as we've actually got back home. It's absolutely flipping beautiful. So this, this is working out so, so well. And even better, it's officially not even a land grab. As far as anyone's concerned, we are saving the galaxy from the killbots. No one can criticize us for killing the killbots. And we are just blasting through research right now. Oh, we're just learning so many flipping things. Right, we need to start breaking down some of these stations we don't actually uh, need for anything. Like, uh, yeah, Ejok, we don't need that. So downgrade that, please. Get that out of the way. Uh, where is Deermius? We don't need Deermius. I'll tell you what, though. Bish Station down here I'll keep because it would be nice to keep an eye on, yeah, the robot fallen empire. Just to make sure we know what they're doing in case they become a problem later. So yeah, let's just swap out that missile battery for some basic anchorage or whatever. We can still have some anchorage down there. And yeah, get a listening outpost down, start upgrading that. We are swimming in alloys right now. In fact, hang on, do any of my fleets need reinforcements? Just a tiny bit, yeah. So let's get those underway. And actually, very conveniently, the station right here can actually do those reinforcements for me. So that's just flipping marvellous. Oh, and I think the Silicron have detected this is a good opportunity to jump in. They're moving in on the Zero Index right now. They should easily be able to mop up this. And uh, I welcome them doing this. A strong Silicron link means that the Zero Index can't move around the interior ring of the galaxy. If me and the Silicron together can hold the Zero Index back, potentially offering an opportunity for the Federation up north to strike back... That could work out very, very nicely indeed. Okay, they've pulled literally everything together into one mega force. And hang on, who's actually fighting right now? What are you guys fighting? Ah, don't worry. It's just the force I sent around to go and pick off the small systems. Yeah, they've pulled everything together into one mega fleet of about 36,000, which I believe I could beat one on one. I say this. Yeah, that's some really, really tough, nasty technology, actually. I don't like that one little bit. And here's a big one. The Vryn Guardians have made peace. So now, as a result of that, this territory should be wide open if the Romans want to try and strike back. And, oh, bloody hell. That's the first gateway in the entire galaxy. No, never mind. Two were completed simultaneously. Possibly for some reason you guys began them on the exact same day. I'm not sure, but yeah. People have started building flipping gateways. And the Corinthians have actually reopened the border. So, yeah, we're still a bit unsure what to do with you guys. How do you feel about me right now? Plus 30. Still not willing to do anything. Yeah, unfortunately, now they've got too many commercial packs. So they're not really looking to have any more of those. But for the time being, at least, yeah, they seem to be holding back. Then again, hang on. This gateway goes to... Ah! Okay, of course. Gateways go to gateways. They're not like wormholes, John. You don't have to check on that. 
yeah, I'd like to build a gateway in my home territory. That'd be flippin' marvellous, but right now, I do not have the technology for that. Right, they're trying to scramble together some tiny, tiny number of little defensive armies, but we're pretty much just knocking all this over, no problem whatsoever. And in fact, yeah, this is looking... Uh, this is looking good. This is looking really, really good, actually. You guys, uh, get over here and, yeah, land on that planet. Is that planet safe, by the way? Yeah, that planet's absolutely fine. You guys aren't doing anything right there. Okay, the problem is uh, we're inheriting a whole bunch of trash planets we don't actually want, and uh, I suspect they're, like, empty, right? Yeah, they're all empty because the robots are being... Let's not actually use the term... Oh, flip, that's a relic world. Hang on, that's a flipping relic world! I'm not sure where you got this relic world from, but you've got a relic world, and now it's flipping mine. So yeah, we can just start actually uh, tearing apart the stupid robot. Purging is not the right term. We don't use skulls to label it, alright? These are killbots. We are deactivating them. This is no more murder than unplugging a toaster is, alright? And like, specifically a toaster that's actively trying to kill you at the time. Right, begin work on Vetin Vitar, because... Uh, 100 flipping percent, we are moving straight over here. This is lovely. Let's get some colonists on this place. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got ourselves something in the slave market too. Love it. So this is actually one of the... Uh, ah, one of the Prakiki T. So right now you're enslaved. Uh, nope, now you're not enslaved. Now you are free. And also I think actually you're technically like ruling the place and... Okay, I think I just made this place very unstable. Why did I just make this place unstable? Your happiness right now is 0% due to low amenities and recently conquered. Okay, I see the problem here, except rather I don't because there's not low amenities. I suspect this is going to correct itself momentarily. There we go, your happiness is now up to 67%. So, stability is fine because you're literally the only person living here. Your only job is to, like, unplug all the robots. The rest of these colonists, however, are, yeah unremarkable aside from uh, yeah okay so those are a couple of robots who for whatever reason we've decided we're going to use as miners and farmers rather than turning off but i guess they're not kill bots so maybe those were two robots that were here when the zero index moved in and they decided against like purging them because they were like you know robots they just made use of them so now they're still here so that's fine but i don't really care the big thing over here is yeah Loshik's right here I assume this was only recently taken over because it's still very, very heavily populated. So I'm going to work under the assumption that these guys actually, yeah, they were never purged. The Zero Index didn't have time to do it. So as a result of that, you guys have actually been rescued right now. Saved from purging. Happiness plus 30%. I am the biggest damn hero in the world. I'm pretty sure these guys used to belong to... Yeah, you were the Multics, weren't you? No, that's an Ixtran, sorry. This must have been Ixtran space. I thought these were the Multics. But no, that is in fact an Ixtran. Marvellous. So, uh, okay. Now you guys work for me, but I'm sure you're going to be happy about it because, you know, you're not actively dead. Okay, big question though. If I just move the two pops that are actually here off the planet, do we officially abandon it? Because uh, I would like to just straight up abandon this place if we could. Yeah, send those guys over to Fen Habanus. We kind of need more people over there. So just ship them over. And... Okay, this planet has low stability. It doesn't have low stability. It's got, like, no stability at all. Because it doesn't exist anymore. We're kind of abandoning it. There we go. That planet has now officially been abandoned. Marvellous. So that's how you abandon a planet. Because this planet is not particularly interesting, so screw this planet. And in fact, this planet has no one on it aside from the Killbots, who I'm guessing we can't resettle elsewhere. No, we could. We could actually move the purging to a different planet. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to move it over to, uh, yeah, Loshex. Because you guys, I'm guessing, would really enjoy doing a bit of purging. So I'm going to send them over there. Job done. And that planet should now cease to exist as well. Marvellous. And also we've got ourselves our oh, impulse thrusters. Flipping. Love it. Together with... Uh, yeah, let's get those advanced afterburners done. That's already underway. Those are flipping lovely too. Okay, this... This has gone very, very well indeed. I am thrilled. So the purging shall continue over here on low shicks. These guys are, yeah, overwhelmingly reliant on large amounts of robot labour, which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. They've also got a fairly large amount of science down, which never hurts. Robot assembly plants, I think we'll get rid of. Uh, yeah, just get rid of them. I think we actually... Uh, no, we can repair them, even though we don't know about the technology ourselves. If it's already down, we can repair it. But get rid of that. We don't need more robots, thank you. 
Instead, as our population's actually probably growing at a fairly high rate right now, and you guys have actually got yourselves, yeah, a giant pile of farms, uh, get yourselves a food processing facility down. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Oh, this is nice. We've taken over some really lovely systems here. Like, Scorpio over here is apparently just flipping, uh, swimming in really, really good quality minerals. Oh, that's nice. That is sexy as anything right there. Ah, yes, and I kind of forgot I had an empire, you know, this side of the empire. You know, the actual empire bit of my empire. Kind of forgot about that. Right, what are the problems you guys have got? Apparently it's unemployment, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so you guys want more specialist jobs, do you? That's reasonable, I suppose. Here, there can be more doctors. Hooray for doctors! More doctors for you as well, except- Oh, hang on. More doctors means more gas. We don't actually have that much gas, but actually, hang on- we can make more beautiful. In which case, yes, more doctors. Doctors, after all, do actually produce, yeah, amenities. So it's a good way, potentially, of getting around having to bother having hollow theatres. Because doctors and clerks together, yeah, they produce a fairly large amount of amenities, yeah. Aha, and that dense jungle we can finally get rid of. So start digging all that up. Lads, we're going to dig up all that jungle, opening up some more beautiful farming opportunities. Admittedly, farming's fine right now, but it's partly fine because, yeah, we're boosting it with edicts, which we don't really want to be doing long term. By the way, I see your amenities are very, very low right now. So uh, do you guys need doctors or would you rather actually have... Uh, yeah, you know what? Have some doctors go on then. And in order to fund those doctors, exotic gas refineries! Hooray! Now, Fenhabarnis is naturally growing very, very fast indeed, already up to 30. So, uh, we really don't need alloy megaforces. That's a catastrophic waste of time. Right, replace them with something different if you'd be so kind. Here we go, basic civilian industries. Because, uh, while well, we have a giant stockpile of consumer goods, uh, yeah, that plus 29 doesn't look that healthy. So let's just get that sorted out. And then we've got ourselves, yeah, a giant pile of empty space. Now, as soon as we have the ability to start producing our own volatile moats, I would love to just start mass producing them here. But for the time being, are we ready for another foundry? I would say yes. Yes, we are. In fact, let's just move that up to the top, please. Lovely. And as we're actually sitting on a giant pile of food for the time being, yes, planetary growth and luxury goods for immigration. Flipping love it. Okay, this is interesting. The massive fleet they've pulled together, because yeah, they finally pulled literally everything together. Well, almost. There's a handful more fleets, but they're pretty small potatoes. Well, actually, that's 8,000 over there. Okay, actually, if they pulled together all that, they would have more than me. That's definitely a bit on the concerning side. But they're moving over to... Uh, Jesse May. Okay, where's that game? It's the system they're already in, but okay, fine, what have you. Oh, they're moving down to Akamar. Right, okay, so they're planning to kick the Spuck Shellax straight back out again. They really don't want the Spuck Shellax around here. Oh, and here's fun. Over on my little mining world, we found a crashed alien spaceship. Okay, obviously we'll be excavating that. Never say no to an excavation. Also, there's Chaw's Compass, and once again, these bastards haven't bothered speaking to me yet, which is a little bit on the rude side. And here's fun. The whole fascins have become more egalitarian. What have they given up for that? Right, they've given up a little bit of their xenophobia. This is interesting. They're hostile right now, but yeah, they're also pathetically weak. This could work. This could work potentially. If those guys want to chill the flip out, I'm willing to live and let live. Right, send my science vessel level 3 over to go and take care of that, because I think I just saw that was... Uh, yeah, level 1 for now. And also, you are literally an archaeologist, so you are very well suited to this. So this was apparently an absolutely massive station, a self-contained arthropoid civilization of millions. And they've all just been sealed inside dead. But yeah, how exactly did they end up dying? Because you'd think they'd be very careful we with a massive debris. sealed environment containing millions of people. Oh, and we just found ourselves another good bit of debris right there. Flippin' love it. That gets me research alternatives up. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got a lot of choices all of a sudden. I love it. Ah, research complex. Yes, now that, that's a good idea because I can actually start producing my own gas. So uh, get on with that 100%. In fact, actually, no, do it after you're done with Plasma Accelerator. Because uh, at the end of this month, in just a few days. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, flipping. Oh, Plasma Cannon. Flipping Plasma Cannon. Yes, 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 yes. There's Bismuth Management Nexus, too. Yes, 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 again. Oh, it's like Christmas, my birthday, and Tsar Clan Day have all come together. It's wonderful. Oh, excuse me. Excuse flipping me. 
The Spokeshack Compact have taken a bit of land that I was planning to have for myself. Excuse me, you rude bastards. Right. So they're taking advantage of that. Okay. You know what? I see no reason why they shouldn't have that. There's nothing actually that good in this territory, actually, aside from this bit. This bit's really nice. For some reason, there's just really, really valuable goods here. But the flipping Spokeshack is going to beat me there, which is uh, all you cheeky gets. Right. You know what? I suppose that's fair enough. You're about to get the only good system around here. So, uh, I guess I'll leave you to it. Go on then. Why not? Help yourselves. And when I say help yourselves, yeah, the zero index are actually heading straight at you. So, uh, good luck with that. Yeah, as I suspected, uh, the actual new Spock Shalax Empire is uh, not looking so hot right now. As a ridiculously massive fleet. And bloody hell, that's, that's not fun. That's not a fun thing right there. Moves into absolutely flipping wreck them. They don't stand a chance. That's a basic, completely unreinforced settlement over there. And you guys have got yourselves, uh, yeah, really long range stuff actually. No extra large weapons yet, which is marvellous and bloody hell. That was it. Just like, you know, they just tossed some peas at it and it fell over. That's how strong they are. So they've just reclaimed all of that. The Spokeshire likes once again in a fair bit of trouble. You guys coming around here to... Uh, Hang on, you guys are going to, uh, we're sat right now, travelling to uh, Avaconia Station. Okay, where are you going now? Keep a very close eye on the movement of this fleet, because this is the only fleet that can really threaten me right now. Okay, they're just regrouping over here, possibly because, ah, they might be about to upgrade themselves, because obviously they're not strong enough right now. And you know what? I'm floating a giant pile of minerals I'm not doing anything with. Uh, spend five grand if you'd be so kind. There you flipping go. Uh, let's get some flipping ships in production back home. Uh, now that should be... Uh, that's a nice little queue right there. Why did I just do that, John? You know there's a whole bunch of new tech coming in momentarily. That's fine. Upgrading isn't as expensive as it used to be. We've also made some progress over here. So what have we learned about this little, yeah, arthropoid life ship thing? They were deeply religious and had no contact with the outside world, which they feared and despised. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omniscient oracle who scribed their destinies at birth. Divine will decided everything from their choice of partner or occupation to the minutiae of their daily lives, leaving them with little individual freedom. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined path, as all who did perished under mysterious circumstances. Right, why am I starting to believe that there might have been an element of, uh, yeah, internal sabotage at work here? Oh, flip, you absolute bastards. The infinite pond just vassalized the Tajel. I was going to flipping vassalize them, you absolute dicks. Right. Okay, that's the last time I save your lives. Oh, and the cocky Inari joined the same federation too. Right, so I can't vassalize them either. Okay. Right. You know what? I'm starting to have problems with you guys. You're getting in the way of my expansion. Also, for some reason, I don't have a commercial pact with, yeah, the Khan Vassam. So, okay, that's worth a giant pile of money. Never say no. Has anyone actually already got, like, you know, really good stuff? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, please. Please be available. I mean, it's not going to be available, but please be flipping available. 193 trade. It's the Tajel. It's the cocky Tajel who must have founded it after I'd taken their stuff off them, which I now can't do again, because that would involve war against the Infinite Pond, and I hate everything. Okay, bigger question. Where's the fleet just gone? Because uh, there was a massive fleet here, and now it's naffed off, and also are you guys actually... Ooh, blimey! The Silicron are totally diving in. Well flipping done, lads. But yeah, where's, where's the biggest fleet gone? There was a massive fleet here of... Temporarily lost it. That's tiny. There it is. Right, we found Apex. That's absolutely fine. Moving to Semester. Okay. They're only a handful of jumps away from me at this point. I'm starting to get a little bit on the nervous side here. Also, we've got a planet with nothing but robots that we inherit. And I don't want that planet either. So we're just going to be abandoning that. Sorry if you want to live here. Right, ship those guys over to Forlorn Hope. There's plenty of jobs over on Forlorn Hope. So, uh, yeah, we can just send all of the robots there. Oh, flip, hang on. I think they're actually planning to do it. I think they're coming in. They are... Okay, they're close by. Are you guys actually... No. They just walked out again. They were thinking about it. They might have needed to have got close enough to get a good look at me. No, that doesn't make sense. That can't be it. They've definitely got the scanners. By the way, who am I attacking right now? I'm attacking... Okay. I think I'm being caught by... It's those bloody pirates again. Right. 
Luckily, we should be able to... Well, not sure. We might be about to lose something, unfortunately. That is... Uh, who the bloody hell are you guys? That's... That's actually a cruiser. We're actually going to potentially lose cruisers to some bloody pirates. Because the Almertas can't deal with their own cocking problems. Oh, Flip, I think they're going to make it happen this time. 38,000 is coming in. How are you guys doing, by the way? Uh, listening post. Okay, there's plenty of guns on you. You got enough firepower for the time being. Are you actually moving in around? They're moving in. They're flipping moving in. Uh-oh. This is precisely what we didn't want to happen. Okay, they're... they're present. They're flipping present. They're not willing to settle the status quo. This is going to be really, really nasty. And they've got... Oh, they've got so much. But if we could just break this fleet. If we could just break this fleet. This is a combined force of... Okay, hang on. Check the Admiral. How good's your Admiral? Because if your Admiral's good, he's only level 2. Level 2 cautious. That's actually really good. Ship weapon range up is really nice. I need him to be in range of the station, ideally. But the station's going to have... Oh, blimey, this is... Yeah, he's lost a little bit of his strength because I think we've got one of those... Uh, we've got one of those shield takey offy things here. Yes, we've got a shield takey offy thing. That's good. Everyone else is... Excuse me, are you... No, that's a science ship. Okay, yeah, you can probably just naff off. That's fine. I was wondering why we had a scientist there. Okay, you, you don't have to get involved. You're excused. Okay, they've opened fire, in which case, uh, move in, move in, move in. All forces, attack. I don't know whether we're gonna do that well here. I've got the really advanced battleships at the back, but these guys have got a lot of bonuses. But we've got multiple fleets, which does give you a bit of an advantage. So, it's looking pretty good so far. My primary fleet, the actual Zarklands First Pilgrims, is holding steady at about 24,000. Oh, they're dropping. They're dropping really fast. They're dropping ludicrously fast. Oh, flip. We've slaughtered them. We've absolutely flipping slaughtered them. Oh, you stupid, stupid bastards. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. Yeah, naff off. Naff off. This is my cocking space now. We've probably just taken a fair few knocks, by the way. Did someone just die? Oh, no. One of my admirals died. That's sad, but honestly, that, that was not as bad as I feared it might be. Bring the science ship back, all right? Bring the science ship back. We've got a lot of flipping debris for you. Okay, Kraken is badly damaged. Begin, and when I say begin, reinforcements. Um, we do have a small problem here, which is those cocking pirates. Right, bring in the reinforcements, please. Bring in the reinforcements. In fact, actually, hang on. No, the reinforcements will probably... They'll be trained over here, won't they? They'll presumably train at... Uh, yeah, low ships. So that works. Okay, We've managed to hold that very nicely, in fact. Good, and Foundling has... Foundling's just naffed off. Do we know when Foundling's going to be back? Because I'd really rather Foundling were here, like, right now to get on with the scanning. You better not be about to appear back at the flipping home planet, because that'd be really annoying if so. Meanwhile, over on the star base, yeah, they weren't just being commanded, they were also being spied on. But some of the equipment was torn out and damaged. The people figured out they were being spied on, and as a result of that, started to rebel. Now, of course, unlike old Stellaris, yeah, that doesn't mean we've won in any sense. It just means we've got one really solid victory under our belts, which is great, but not good enough just yet. Though, actually, this might be a good opportunity to push forward, quite frankly. We're in the process of, yeah, trying to get you guys sorted out. You guys fall back somewhere good. Oh, these fleets need... Uh, they need repairs right now, and they are being repaired at the minute, so... Okay, we should let the repairs finish because we got a bit lucky there. Plenty of our ships were getting very badly damaged when we won. And thankfully, the science vessels appeared right here, which is bloody convenient. And yeah, interesting combination of things going on here. The Silicron have been mopping up like crazy, taking advantage of what I've done there. Very, very nice indeed. Meanwhile, I think, yeah, the Spuxilax are about to lose uh, again, unfortunately. They've got a decent amount of strength just heading in that direction. Uh, just chasing you bastards down. Uh, yeah, the Spuxilax are nearly done there. They're not holding on to this territory. There's a bit more down over here. We'll see if maybe they go and hunt that, though. Actually... They can't unless they go straight through this territory, which... Oh, no. No, they can't. Not without going through flipping Fallen Empire territory, and they're definitely not doing that. So this territory is safe in the hands of the Spock Shalax for now. Oh, and there's the business management nexus. Oh, that's... That's lovely. That's sexy. Right, do that literally everywhere. Over to all our planet, business management nexus. Yes, 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 and yes. What does that even need, by the way? That is... 
Oh, it doesn't need anything, just more flipping money. Well, money we've got plenty of. So start upgrading. I want more flipping managers. Because more managers means more unity, and unity is the best. Oh, and here we go. Gene modification points, genetic modification, self-modification. Yes, let's start gene modding up a little bit. That's how we get the best armies, the best scientists, the best everything. Now, it looks to me like, yeah, 13,000 strength over there, 14,000 almost. Those guys are going to try and hunt down the Silicron. And uh, actually, this could be close. That's only 8,000 strength, but with a massive, really tough little station right there, providing a bit of extra fire... No, I think the fleet's just too weak. And of course, the Zero Index have a massive technological advantage. So uh, that's very significant. Speaking of which, no, 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 technology. Okay, we're still a few years out from plasma cannons. But once we get those sorted out, we honestly won't need to upgrade our weapons again like ever, pretty much. I'd say, how about we just start uh, pushing forward a bit here? Let's just, you know, make sure we've got a good early warning system if they try and come and have another go. So yeah, I'm just going to send forward Zarklan's Third Pilgrims uh, just to take over these little stations. Where are you guys going, by the way? Uh, not towards us for the time being. So yeah, let's just take over a little bit more. We've got ourselves... Oh, hello. Who did you guys just join? Aha, the mega church over here. No, hang on. Is that the mega church? No, you guys have formed a new federation. Right, so... Uh, there's a lot of flipping federations now. Yeah, there's these two. Uh, there's these guys, which is also these guys down here. And you. Then we've got these guys who are paired up with these guys. Together with... Uh, hang on, I think there's like another one. Like you over there. And also you're paired up with you. And hang on, is that it for you two? Is that all you've got? Yeah, that's just you two. Then we've got these two together as well. So basically, uh, there's a huge number of federations present. And I'm not involved in any of them. Oh, by the way, I quite like that debris. That's good debris. And apparently there's a laser grid that we need 100 energy to actually get round. So 100 energy is nothing. Give ourselves some clues right there. Absolutely lovely. All right, I think we're actually pretty much back up to strength. We do need some more reinforcements coming in. You guys are being healed up right now. But honestly, I'd say let's move into a forward position. We might be able to actually, yeah, sort out this war in the not too distant future. Just keep battering the forces before they can rebuild. Uh, we might be able to, yeah, force these guys into a piece. Oh, bit of a small problem though. Zarklan's third's been caught a bit out of position, unfortunately. And I suspect these escorts are going to, yeah, be a bit on the knackered side. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so, so flippin' sorry. You guys have been left a bit. Actually, no. Sorry. You're actually completely trashing them. Right, we are doing... Uh, we're doing very well here. Marvellous. You guys have apparently... Honestly, I don't even know, but it feels like you're kind of hard countering these gets. And as you might have guessed in a sci-fi game, yeah, the oracle that was controlling them wasn't actually any form of divine creature or whatever. It was a giant AI. So they figured that out, tried to storm the temple to destroy it, but apparently were not actually able to do so. So at that point, society just basically collapsed and uh, we should probably... Ooh. We should probably restart the Nexus. Yeah, but should we actually? Because I'm not sure that's a good idea. But screw it, let's do it. Why not? Ooh, looks to me like a big fleet is heading in our direction. But we have got reinforcements piling in from every side, all right? We have got plenty of strength to handle this. And in particular... Oh, hang on. I thought we had a bit more than that. Hang on, where's... Where's our clan's first pilgrims? Are you guys still being... Ooh, you guys were still actually being repaired. Right, okay. That's... That's a little bit more concerning. You guys okay these days, by the way? Yes, you guys are okay too. Right, everybody who's not already there, please go and report to that system. Because I'm a bit worried that... How close are these guys jumping? Oh, they're about to jump. Okay, we might be about to lose this one, but the reinforcement should help out. Hopefully. Yeah, we've got about 12,000 there. They've got about 12,000 too. So it's going to be about even. We do have Zarklan's third, and those ships do seem to do a very good job tearing these guys apart. So, uh, if we can just potentially win with the assistance of the battleships, that'd be great. We are holding... Oh! Okay. There's also pirates. We're a bit busy with that, to be honest, but... Okay, where's, where's this? Right, there's some pirates down over here for some reason. Honestly, I don't care. And this fleet over here is doing... 
It's doing an okay job. We just need to take out their biggest fleet. But I'm not sure we're prioritizing the battleships right now. So I think we might just win. An admiral just died. No, that was a governor. That was a governor. We've also got a tradition somewhere. And uh, yeah, we'll have them. But we've taken one hell of a battering. And I think we just had some reassistance from Zarklands first there. Those guys are seriously good at just moving around at speed. Okay, that is Tenants of Tabby attacking zero index. That's that entire federation moving straight back in. Guys, do it. I think they're pretty... Oh, I say they're vulnerable. There's another flipping 12,000, another 5,000 right there. Yeah, these guys just... They just keep coming, don't they? Bloody hell. Right, Zarklands first. Let's march over here and knock out this massive system. They've got to be nearly ready to give it up. Yeah, minus 11. Just keep going, guys. Just keep going. Uh, you guys... Yeah, reinforce if you can, but honestly, you're a little bit on the the battered side, I won't deny. But honestly, first Zarklan should be able to handle this by himself at this point. Oh, and that means the Ixtern are actually back at war with these guys too. By the way, I should really, really take that extra tradition. So yeah, star base damage up, alternatively, ship up, keep down, naval capacity up. Then again, I've got lots of naval capacity I'm not even filling right now. Yeah, I really need to increase the alloy production. Because I have got a lot of fleet I'm not actually uh, utilising. Or build speed up costs down. You know what? I'll take the actual ship upkeep down 10%. I mean, they're all good. Those are all good. Supremacy is a damn good tree. Oh, and we've definitely made it into Maltic's territory right now. That is actually the old homeworld of Maltic. So, uh, plenty of its buildings are just in ruins. Uh, obviously, I'm guessing... Yeah, everyone's already dead. It's nothing but robots at this point, unfortunately. All of the Maltics have long since been exterminated. Very, very sad indeed. Now, these guys seem to be, yeah, just about ready to potentially surrender, though. Hang on. Maltics. How easy would it be for me to actually take that over? Oh, that's, that's a bit much, to be honest. And by the way... I'm guessing that might just be... Yep, yeah, that's the end of the archaeological dig site. So, what was the deal with the AI robot oracle thing? Ah, it didn't just keep them alive, it also was the one that killed them. So, when it figured out that they were rebelling, I'm guessing it finished them all off. But apparently, it wants to chat to us. So, okay then. Sure, let's have a nice chat with it. So the Oracle manifests as an elaborate 3D hologram of a tall arthropoid female clad in long flowing robes. She bows her head in greeting, then stares emptily ahead with hundreds of huge orbed unseeing eyes. They glow dimly in the gloom as she speaks. Welcome to Divinity Station, friends. I cannot help but notice you have disabled my security system. May I employ you to restore it immediately? I can assure you it's only there for your protection. Okay, what's going on with this? And Oh, blimey! I can actually assign that thing as a level 5 governor. Right. That's... No. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's very bad. Or Oracle Modifier Admin Capacity Plus 20. That's not bad at all. Or Giant Piles of... Yeah, that's just stuff. I don't need stuff. Right. Are you wanting to actually tell me who you are? An AI gifted with the sight. My software allows me to predict your future with a divine accuracy of 74.9 recurring percent. I sense great doubt in you, great danger ahead, your society is riddled with crime and deviation, I can make the pain go away. Right, I don't really trust you, to be perfectly honest. And if I ask her what happened to the station, I have a failsafe that requires me to terminate a trial in the event of a code 034N deviation. The research has become a threat to the Republic. Okay... What's one of those? The test subjects developed free will. Free will can only be abolished with nerve gas. Okay, she's not technically wrong, but she is a monster. And when you say trial, my trial, I was designed to build and maintain a society free of crime and suffering, a utopia in which every citizen was instilled with divine purpose and lived up to their full potential, unfettered by indecision and desire. Right, so you're the overseer of Vault 101, but like taken to a ludicrous extreme, gotcha. I'm guessing the Republic is uh, long flipping gone. Yeah, the Republic is no more. You know that, you just kind of don't care. Right, in which case, admin capacity is definitely the better option here. So, um, just give her a desk job. Let her get on with filing paperwork or whatever it is we do in the admin department. And yeah, that should speed up research traditions and whatnot. So that should be pretty good. Also, apparently we've unlocked... Oh, we've unlocked so much. We've unlocked, like, everything simultaneously somehow. So that's good. And bloody hell, we got synthetic crystal plants. We don't need synthetic crystal plants, alright? We need the bloody moat building, but... 
You know what? We'll need that sooner or later. May as well take it. Except, hang on. No. That's, that's that. The other one. This one over here. Ah, yes. Research complexes. We were supposed to be getting on with that. Lovely. But yeah, plasma cannons. Plasma cannons are now in position. You guys are almost willing to... They're willing to give up. Okay. Are we willing to call it right there? Is this the right time for us to call it? Because, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can't help but notice... There's a deposit of Jro, or however you're supposed to pronounce that over here. Now, I can't remember what that does, but it's very, very bloody rare. So, uh, I would say, ah, it's something to do with psionics. Okay, how about we just go and take that? I feel like we should definitely go and take that, and then I'd say we're done here. Oh, and it's the perfect day to end the war, because today is Zarklan Day! Happy Zarklan Day, everybody! Oh, and the Almet is jumping in too. Honestly, I'm not sure how you're planning to, like, get to the Zero Index. Like, presumably, uh, I guess through these guys, if you've got yourselves the ability to do so. So I assume you're just going to be doing that. But yeah, good time. Good time to do it. When I say good time to do it, how are you guys doing? Yeah, there are some tough fleets over here, but I feel like this Federation, all together, might just have it. The threat of the Zero Index might not have been fully extinguished yet, but... We have severely battered them. And bloody hell, there's a massive star fortress with six shipyards over here for some insane reason. No, I think that's a little bit, uh, that's a bit on the overkill side. On the plus side, I'm guessing that there was a major production facility for the Zero Index. So we've taken that off them. Never mind, they have another one right flipping here, I see. Right, just swap all these out for guns. We may as well have, yeah, a nice little forward gun emplacement around over here. And a listening outpost so we can see what the bloody hell's going on. But for the most part, we're probably going to be trying to hold uh, right here. Nuprum. That's probably where we want to hold. So, I spent an awful bloody large amount of alloys very quickly right there. But screw it, whatever. And there's also, yeah, a lot of habitats in this part of the world. Habitats that presumably were built and colonized at one point before the Zero Index just destroyed them. So that's a bit of a shame. All right, I think we're actually okay for the time being. We do actually need to, yeah, take down two star bases yet by the looks of it. Nope, nope, sorry, just needs to update. We're absolutely fine. So we're at our cap of 22, in which case, zero index. I think for the time being, we're pretty good at this point. Fleet power is equivalent. I've shattered their economy, though. The tech is still overwhelming. So a bit of an odd empire, but whatever. Yeah, let's just actually at this point sue for settle status quo. So they should be willing to accept that. So no border adjustment. And with that, you stupid gits have no choice but to give up. There'll be no victor this time. Well, I've got about half your empire and you don't have any of mine. So I would say we do have a victor actually. Though I may have slightly just thrown the Silicron under a bus because they're now very, very overexposed. Still, our position at the end of this war is very, very positive indeed. The infinite pond is superior to us, but other than that, no one is stronger than us in the entire galaxy aside from the Fallen Empires. Everybody else is equivalent or less, which is very, very good indeed. Though many of those equivalent empires are in Federation, so uh, together they would have more power than me, which would be a little bit on the concerning side. Still, I'm liking the new state of the galaxy over here. We've got ourselves a massive area of expansion. In fact, We've probably, like, doubled the size of the Empire right there, which is slightly ludicrous, but whatever. We've got ourselves the Silicron Link looking very, very strong indeed. Infinite Pond doing their job very, very nicely. Federation up north is starting to fight back pretty effectively. Zero Index is absolutely everywhere, as they normally are, but they are being beaten back on every front as well. This is looking good. The Zero Index were looking very, very scary. Not only have we taken a huge amount of land off them and gained a huge amount of resources out of it, our technology has just jumped forward a slightly ludicrous level, actually. In fact, you know what? It's time to celebrate this jump forward with some lovely, lovely brand new... Oh, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. This is sexy as anything. Superior shielding, superior armor, superior everything. Oh, this is... this is lovely. This is sexy as anything. Oh, yeah, those new cruisers, just nothing but big old Plasma 3s. We've got shield capacitors now. We've got advanced targeting computers. we got ourselves, yes, yeah, shield 4 and armor 4. That's good stuff right there. The new look Athena is sexy. 
Right, now I'm going to say Zarklan's third pilgrims should stay right here. Because they make a good small but effective force just to guard little choke points. So uh, they're going to stay, no, not right there. They're going to stay here at Nupron. All right, everybody else, we're going to go home and sort all of this out. Because uh, the fleets have got a little bit on the, uh, the messy side. So everybody back to Snorf, please. Everybody back to Snorf. So yeah, heading home exactly the same way we arrived, just straight through Istran territory, straight on to the Almed Syndicate, and then home through the wormhole. Marvellous. Now, let's focus on some of the big prizes. A relic world I wasn't even expecting to get, meaning as a result of that, I've now got myself... Oh, that's seven empty researcher slots right there. And Forlorn Hope is apparently suffering from some small overcrowding. Well, I think we've got just the flipping place for you. Five spare housing, 13 spare jobs. Right, anyone who's unemployed right now, have fun over there. And we'll just basically, yep, make all of you scientists. Absolutely lovely. Ah, yes, and Snorf itself is currently overpopulated. Well, that's perfect, because Snorf's actually got some Snivlets on it, and Snivlets make very, very good scientists. Other than that, get you a planetary administration, get you a city district, get you a gene clinic, just for a bit more housing amenities or the rest of it. This place is going to be absolutely sexy as anything. And straight away, it started producing 55 physics, 58 sociology, 51 engineering. That is pretty bloody nice. Also, we're swimming in food right now. So here, have some food and also some luxury goods. In fact, we've got so much food right now. Everybody can have food. And I was just saying we need more alloys. Well, it does rather appear we've got ourselves tons of minerals right now because of that territory I've just taken. Yes, more foundry arcologies, please. Lovely. And if we just go over to diplomatic map mode, oh, this is looking good. This galaxy, which was originally looking very unfriendly indeed, yeah, actually, it's coming round to us very nicely. Opinion is looking very, very green indeed. There's a handful of dicks, but for the most part, everyone's actually getting on. The galaxy's actually flipping coming together, and I might be in a position to potentially lead the bastards, because... If I was to actually join this federation, then yeah, as a result of that, I wouldn't actually be the president immediately, but if I could just overtake the Mighty Ducks, and uh, bloody hell with my fleet capacity I should be able to, I'd be the president of the biggest, most powerful federation in the galaxy, then they'd have to follow me into all my stupid wars. This is going... Okay, this is going better than expected. Like, the Zero Index has not been taken care of for good. These guys get stupid bonuses, because Determined Exterminator Machine Empires get stupid bonuses anyway. Never mind on Grand Admiral mode, but, uh, yeah. We have at least made a bit of a dent in them. But now, now we have got the territory. We have got the economy. We can start getting a second Relic World set up. And with those new upgrades, uh, I bet we could very, very easily take out Shard. We could have three Relic Worlds. Honestly, Relic Worlds are really good by themselves, just because they come with a giant pile of free science jobs and bonus to science. So, uh, oh wow. Okay, I was expecting to die by the end of part three or something, but no, this is going surprisingly well. And when I say surprisingly well, bear in mind, every single Fallen Empire is still significantly stronger than me, and they haven't woken up yet. Sooner or later, they're flipping going to, and when that happens, uh, they are going to stomp me into the ground. A Great Khan could very easily still stomp me into the ground. And uh, the Crisis, well, let's not even think about the Crisis. The stomping is going to be flipping orbital in that case. So uh, we will see, ladies and gentlemen. We will see. But for the time being, things are going pretty bloody well. Next time, I need to take all this brand new lovely money and actually invest it into all my new planets, figure out what shape I want my new expansion zone to be in, and then figure out, yes, who's my next target. Because uh, you guys down over here... I think you have got a few branch officers I wouldn't mind taking into my possession. So, uh, we'll see about that. We'll flipping see. And all of that is to come very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Stellaris, the impossible run. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>